hello welcome so i just cut my hair um like a bit shorter and i love it and i feel like estee lalonde from youtube and she has a really cute hat it's like straw kind of like no it's like floppy anyway my mum has a big collection of hats little ones big ones all kinds so today I'm slightly out of breath i am gonna do a little hat try on haul of all of my mum's old hats she's not gonna let me have any of them but i don't care i want to try them on because i think they'd look really cute with my new short hair also i had my hair done and the lady dyed it supposed to be this color like the color of my roots but when she first did it it was like a gray kind of color really did not like it then i washed it a few times and the color just all came out i don't know what it is i think my hair's just had way too much bleach in it so i feel like i'm just gonna always have blonde hair um, and my natural colour will just gradually come through, but it's not like crazy dark, wait, if you can see there, that bit there's my roots, and then the top bit is the blonde. <laughs> um, so, I'm loving my hair, I think it looks really, really cute, let's get on with the video. I'm gonna pop you up right here on my mum's cupboard. Ooh. Look how old and rickety this thing is. Like, she's just forever had it. Um, and the doors don't even close because they're so full of her stuff. So. There we go. The first one is this. I'm fairly sure my mum wore this to a funeral because I've seen pictures of her in it. We have very similar size heads. Um, we both have quite small heads. So this is numero uno. Adorable. I really like it. It's so soft. If you can see, it's very, very soft. Super cute. I love it. This one is getting a 9 out of 10 because I can't give any of them a 10 out of 10 straight off the bat. 9 out of 10. Okay, this one is another one I got out just before deciding to film this it's pink it's like fluffy this one i feel none of them can be worn in the rain it's my only thought um but then they're like too wintry to wear in the summer and in the in england when it's the winter it's going to be raining so slightly impractical but adorable like imagine this with like um like in the summer like a little dress like a little you can see it right with a bit of a tan so that's number two number three i'm just gonna have to get all of them out i think she's gonna come back and be so pissed off at me for like getting every single one of her hats out but i mean she doesn't get much wear out of them, then, like, I deserve it. She also has such a big bag, um, a collection of bags. Like, this is so cute. Like, a little weekend away. And she never uses them. Might just have to steal some and then she won't, I bet she wouldn't even know. But it's really nice to see things that you remember your parents having when you were a kid like I'll see a bag and be like holy smokes I fully remember you wearing that random glove yeah I fully remember you wearing that to like this holiday you know and stuff. so I've got enough hats now that I can I can do a little haul a little mini haul Oh my gosh, they just keep coming. All right, so. 
this is on the same line of the other ones but this is one of those hats with the clippy bits it's a little bit big um i'm gonna give this one like a four maybe cute is it the wrong way around it's the wrong way around okay um potentially cute but you can't see your hair it's the same length as my hair though okay five then what's next some summer hats this one here it's good it's got a good structure and this is going to protect you from the sun like when we lived in australia obviously hats were such an important thing because you know you put your slip slap slopper on put your sun cream on but you still need a hat to protect your shoulders to protect your face because sun makes you age um another beauty this one if you can see it has like a swirly design swirly design on there this one also another adorable hat go mum for the the balls go mum for the balls to wear this um i personally don't know if i could ever like, I don't know what I'd wear it with, you know? Like, would you just, like, pop into town in it? I don't know. So, and then we've got this one. She actually wears this one, like, more now. Um, It's, oh my gosh, it's very small. This bit here is quite shallow. So it sits, if you can see, like, literally just on your hairline. Um, So you're not going to ruin your hair so much. Oh, I actually really like this one. I don't know about this. I think you can probably take it off and do another one but yeah really cute it sits more like upwards if that makes sense so you can still like see your face because sometimes with big rims you end up being like this no one can see your face so I think this is like another day at the races hat which I don't really understand because mum never goes to the races okay so more of the little ones this is adorable um this is just super cute this is a Peruna one from Marks and Spencers. Oh my god. Um, oh, I haven't been showing you the backs. Oh, yeah, this one has a detail at the back. Okay, I'll give a twizzle. Can you see that? Um, it has a little bow detail at the back. That one, get. Oh, I haven't been voting on them. That one gets like a four out of ten. She's not super cute. This one, which I think is inside out, looks like it's been like hand knitted or something. This is your classic beanie. I feel like the kid from The Nativity, the one that never talks. She has a hat like this, doesn't she? This one has a little um, detail at the top where it all connects together. Um, this one I'm gonna say is a seven. Like I think in the winter, keeps your ears warm. It doesn't protrude. If you're wearing your glasses, it's not gonna sit like that. Um, I think this is a good one. I'm chuffed with this actually. Um, another beanie. It's a bit boring. It's a fat face one. Um, I think it's a bit more hobo-y. You know, it looks a bit more like it's my only hat. And I don't want people to think it's my only hat. Like, <laughs> none of these are my hats. Um, this one, out of the beanies, I'd go this one. It's a bit more fun. It's a conversation starter. This one here, no one cares about your beanie. But it is nice because on the inside, it's like um, lined. So it's very thick. It's a lot thicker than this one. Um, and it would probably fare better in the rain. This one I feel would shrink on your head because it's like very wool. Um, now I'm looking at it, it might be the other way round. I don't know, no, no this way. Okay, on to the next, some more summer ones. Um, this one I think is reversible. I remember mum having this, so I'll show you both sides. This one is
Okay, it's very small, but it has a tie. So let's, let's loosen her up. Um, that bit might have to go on the back. Um, this really like does protrude vision. And then you have to fold it up and that's just like, yeah, no, not cute. We can look at the other side though. Um, and it's just your classic white, white with a little yellow peeking out the top. That's kind of cute. But this one has a deep bit. I think when I'm looking for hats, I want to go shallow. So it sits like there, not like here. Um, because your vision is just so important, especially on a nice day because you want to see it. This is another yellow one. Um, doesn't say where it's from. Size 60 centimetres. And that fits me perfectly. It's quite a good point there. Um, too similar to my hair colour, I think. Um, it's very, you know, very worn in, which I think can be cute on a hat, but I'm going to give this one a five. Now, finally, this is the closest one to the one that Estée Lalonde has. And, oh, okay, so it's, it's quite a rounded top. It's not like as sturdy. Some of them are like straight and then down, but this is very like circular. Um, it doesn't feel like you're wearing a hat other than the fact that it's quite floppy. Um, this side very much falls in. I don't know if I could twizzle it. So that's the back. Okay, I think that the natural back is, well, that's not too bad. Oh, gosh. That's not too bad. Cute, but also like, maybe it's not that cute. Maybe if it was like a smaller rim, you know? So it's like, I don't know. Okay, but I'm giving this one an eight. And this is the last one. This feels very rain proof. It's got a, um, you see the inside, it's like the inside of a tent. Um, and it's got a tight elasticated bit, so you can really get it on there. Oh, wow. Okay, and the edge feels like it's um, bendy. Okay, maybe not. But um, it feels like a rain mac on my head. It's very waxy. Um, and I like these bits. I'm going to say this one gets like an eight for me. Like it does its job. And it looks kind of cute. Um, you can see out of it. Um, I don't think that the, the bit would get in my way of vision. I do feel like though, if it rains, it would puddle. You know, you kind of have to do this throughout your day. Um, what the heck? I'm going to show you some bags too. Um, did I show you this one? If not, this is another one. Um, has a cute little flower. I can't see myself wearing it, to be honest. Oh, oh, I don't hate this. Maybe I already tried it on and said that I didn't like it. <laughs> That'd be funny. Um, yeah, so this is the final one of the hats. I'll show you the collection right now. Um, so what I've learned from this is that my mum really likes a hat that goes boom and out. Um, which is generally what a hat does, so that's good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to wear this while I do the rest of the video. This is her bag of accessories and things she has so many bags and hats and and things we're gonna start off with this adorable little number it is like um a class b1 and oh inside it has a little purse i feel like i could never 
Like, I don't know what event I would take this to, to be honest, because, like, it would barely even fit my phone. Okay, yeah, my phone would fit in it, but then, like, purse and whatever else I'm going to take that day, maybe an umbrella, not going to fit in there. So practicality, low, very low, but cuteness, quite high. I think things like this will probably come back into fashion, you know, like a like a vintage -y kind of vibe. And then the little details on there are like um, flowers, which is cute. Goes with my hat. Um, next up, we have this bag. It is, it's a little... Um, a magnetic clasp and inside is just yellow with polka dots on then on the outside this is quite a like hippie kind of bag like it's a small version of the big ones that people get from sunrise um and it's got these like flowers with little with little sequins on them some of them i'm gonna say it's not really my style well, actually, none of this stuff is my style, but still. Um, maybe, do you know what I find in a bag that I need? Is for it to be able to go over my shoulder. And lockdown weight means that lots of bags don't go over my shoulder. Um, but this bag was not designed to go over my shoulder, so I'm not going to boot myself up about it. But yeah, so it'd be more like a stand and like this, which is just not practical. Like if you're carrying other things as well, you want your bag to just be out of the way. Next up, we've got this baby here. This is one of those handy ones where like, you know, you can either have it as a one strap or a two strap. Um, it's in a really sweet color. She's got a little pin on it. And inside it's, okay, it's got two compartments and then like one zippable compartment in the middle. So I think this would fit a lot in it. Like more than you'd expect but it's another one where i mean it's cute Wait, i'll dip you down a little bit let's see if you'll fall off um i mean it's sweet but i don't know if i'd wear it like on a daily basis it is felty like it's felt feeling so it wouldn't stand to the rain what next this a waterproof bag Perhaps a lunch bag? I think it is actually. It's a Liberty. It's from Liberty. And it is quite small. I think it's a lunch bag, you know. Um, that would not fit over my arm in a million years. So that's a handbag. <laughs> that's how you work out if it's a handbag or not. Does it go over your arm? Um doesn't really do much for me i like the little pattern on it it's very my mum um not really a fan of it i've been chatting for like almost 20 minutes oh this one's cute and it has a long a long chain so you could oh it's got little um sparkles on the top as well so you can do a long chain with it and then your bag is just down like down by your bum um, or you have the little handles, and so you carry it like this. I think this is, oh, it's got like sparkles in the front as well. I think this is definitely like a night out bag. Um, but I'm kind of scared that someone's gonna come in. I also have really bad heartburn, so bear with. Next up, this bag. I know mum got this quite recently, because I think I was with her, or maybe I got it for her or something, I don't know a plain bag i feel like she's gotten older she's gotten a bit more conservative when it comes to bags it's just a little shoulder bag crossbody perhaps i don't like crossbody bags because if you have too much stuff in them they really pull between your boobs and they separate them out and i don't need any more reminders that my boobs are like pointing two different ways um inside is just like floral it's quite a basic mum bag. I feel like you'd just be like, oh yeah, that's a mum bag. It's not very big though. So you can't have it for many things. Now this bag is, um, I can't read the name of it. 
Green by Tony Perotti, Italia. Um, on the inside, it has little card slots, which I feel, I don't think I'd trust my cards in there because they'd just fall out. And I like having my cards in my purse. But this bag is quite sweet. It doesn't have an over the shoulder ability, so it's just a carrying bag. But one bonus is it does have a little tur turtle on it or tortoise. Um, so for that, I'm going to give it a six. For the other ones, they all get fives. <laughs> um, a buzz fresh. Keep your sex toys clean. Um, okay, the next one is this baby here, which I showed earlier. It's more of like an overnight weekend away bag. It's just so, it feels like um, carpet material. It's like a carpet bag. Really cute though. Like I would definitely steal this if it wasn't so big and she'd notice it. But she doesn't use it. Um, big fan of this. I like the pattern on it. I like the feeling of the carpet. Um, and it's just so big and sturdy. You can chuck it over your shoulder. Um, and you can carry so much in it, you know? You could carry a carpet in it if you wanted. Next up. <laughs> Mum, you saucy bugger random flip-flops this is a sweet little bag i have no idea what you put in it literally no idea maybe i don't know this was obviously designed before people had phones because maybe just coins was this before they invented notes would a card even fit in that um cute though you know for maybe a night out your id and some coins and then keep your phone in your pocket um and it's like it's like sturdy it's not soft so but if you did have coins in there it would really really rattle around like nobody's business so that would be one to keep in mind i've been talking for 21 minutes um and i'm not even bored of my own voice yet a sexy blue belt she also has lots of belts but that is for a whole nother video um, okay, I'm gonna delve deeper into there. The RV. I'm back. First up, a velvet big backpack. Um, this she got only a few years ago, actually. I think it was, like, yeah, it's Tesco, FNF, beautiful. Um, these, um, she got this one as well at the same time as me i got this bag but in this kind of color um but these are from jigsaw when i worked there and i'll be honest i'll be completely honest i was so excited about getting this bag i was like oh my god super cute like can't wait to wear it also this hat has completely grown on me i'm stealing it um but they're not very good they're not good um this bit here on mine this little lip bit started fraying like a lot and you can see on this one it, it is as well these are like 120 quid <coughs> my goodness um yeah these were like 120 quid for a bag so like that's a lot of money and they're so small and they don't really fit much in them and the zippers aren't very good quality um they kind of get caught up on themselves quite a lot um and the straps because they're like leather maybe if you wore it more it would like um loosen out but my goodness they're so like firm if you see also they look ridiculous if you have a slightly larger bag but they're quite firm so they don't like hug to your body they just kind of sit sit very stiff so maybe if i wore it for more time it would loosen up but i don't want to 
this bag is too cute. It's like um, straw material. On the inside, it's like saggy, um, which I actually kind of dig. And I could see someone like living in London, wandering into town and get some fruit and vegetables, have like spring onions flopping out the side, carrying it. Very sweet. This bag is so cute. Um, I don't see her with it very often. It's not an everyday bag. And I feel like if you can't have an everyday bag, like you're never going to wear it because every day is every day. So cute though. I'm going to give this a 10 for sure. I so hope she's not going to come back in the house because she's going to be so pissed off. Ah, pain in my back. Cute. I don't know what this material is. It's probably plastic, but it looks like it's opal. Little bag. It reminds me of, what film is it? Ella Enchanted. Is that the one? Where it's the girl that, Ella Frau. Yeah, the girl that like um has to be good. The girl that um anything that someone says, she has to do it because in that film i think there's a scene where there's like they go to the ball and she has a bag like this or a dress like this with the pattern it's either that or like any other disney film um princess film so this is cute it's another velvety material not very practical but cute um oh don't like that i don't like when the zip because that actually reduces the amount of space because if you can't, the bag is this wide, but the zip is only that wide. So you have like a few inches that you can't fit things in. So that will take it down to a six. The rating system means absolutely nothing. Bum bag, big bum bag. It's a billabong bum bag. Ooh, it has a drawstring in it that's that's handy oh and a water bottle holder very handy two in fact um i could see this being worn on a hike it's maybe not like festival cute but like hike cute next we've got this bag here we've got oh it has a little it has a little pin that is just falling out of it that says I'm up for a very different conversation. I don't know what that means, but it means something. I remember this ring. Oh my god, too cute. Wait. Doesn't feel any of my fingers. Podgy podgy. Okay. Like, look at that. And like jingles and everything. Um, this is quite a basic bag, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not excited by it. Um, I'm getting bored of this, to be honest. No, I'm not. <laughs> cute with handles. I need to find a really cute bag then. This bag, my mum used to use this all the time. Wooden handles. Um, it's from Accessorize and it's got all these little flowers on them with patterns and stuff. It's got like a silky pink inside, which is just super cute. Um, she's definitely been worn a bit, but I think it's adorable. I think like on a day to the beach or something, um, like not as your like main bag, but like as, oh, she has something in it. <laughs> Always have to have a spare tampon inside your bags. I'll put that back in actually. <laughs> um, yeah, day to the beach, like you just kind of chuck some things in it and then you have a bigger like tote bag for the towels and whatnot. I like this one. I remember this one a lot and I really dig it. Next up we've got, oh, this bag. This bag here is, um, oh, that's, that's nifty. Look, so 
you pull it um this little thing here is obviously the clasp and when it's up you can't open the bag but then you pull it down to here and then you can open it up and then inside oh this one she hasn't cleared out she's got i'll cover her name she's got her old um work badge in there and like a pen and the spare strap for it that's so weird that you carry that around um and like paper and a penny hey i'll leave that for her and a nicorette patch she's still trying bless her so this bag can go over the shoulder and as we've seen does have a longer strap i think this is really cute it's very heavy though um and the little things on it kind of look like eyeballs or little nipples um but still oh they've got those little things that means that you can put it down on the floor and it doesn't get grubby i like this bag i do um does i don't know where it says where it's from made in china is all we can see so but it's got good compartments in it um it's got like a zippy one here and then underneath it, it's got another zip one and a slidey pocket and then a big main section and then your phone pockets there i think that i think this one's a golden i like this but it's quite heavy it can't really be for like every day next up this bag here this is like a soft leather bag i like it and um, with a big buckle like a statement buckle you can go under your arm i like that it's one of those like it's a very rectangular bag and you can fit so much more than you expect in a rectangle bag um and you've got you've got your zips and everything like that i rate this it's got a little outside pocket which is handy for like you know quick access to you know what, whatever you want literally whatever you want you can put it in there um yeah and then we've got this bag finally which i know she got quite recently because i think mm -hmm, it's still got the packaging in it because i think i saw this the other day and i was like hmm but it's still got the packaging in it so i think it's a bit thin if you ask me um which you did um yeah and the, the and this bit here do you know what i just don't think i'm a very burgundy girl i don't really like it screams autumnal but actually it doesn't like it screams more i'm 90 so but i feel like if you put a purse in there notebook phone you're full you know you can't put you can't just like chuck if you go shopping and stuff you can't just chuck things in here because it's quite sturdy and thin so like most of the other bags like you could cram things in and it still functions as a bag but with ones like this once that little thin bit there is full you can't cram things in because this won't close up and the whole clasp and everything it's a bloody nightmare so i can see why she hasn't unpacked it okay so this is currently her bed um, I really hope she doesn't come back and see this. So all of these ones in here, I'll just briefly go through. We've got one of these, which is similar to a couple of the other ones. They're quite small, but cute for, you know, something. This, which is a felt handbag purse thing. I don't like it. I feel like it's extremely impractical. And I don't want to have my bag just like dangling around in my hand. Like, you know, you go to the bathroom or something and you're just like, oh. So you can't even get it off with one hand. Not cute. This bag, I remember mum having this for ages. It's another like sturdy, um, like shell kind of material. And inside, like, you know it's like this so i guess you can't really like 
put loads of stuff into it because it wouldn't close but I feel like it's a good enough size that you could probably fit like enough in it not like a shopping bag though um this is so cute I think I am sucker for a carpet bag after all of this I think I need to get myself a carpet bag it's gonna pop down on the mountain of shit so this is like a carpet bag that has like a long string that's such not a cute angle I'll put you on top of her clothing yeah so like this is really sweet it's like padded um and it's just open for whatever you want i like this i rate it i like the very thin strap and the strap is actually like a snaky metal material if you see i rate that and to be honest the other ones in there I'm busting for a wee and I can't be bothered to get them out because I'm going to have to put all this stuff back as well. I need to go for a wee. Alright, I'm back. Um, thanks for watching, bye. <laughs>